you know, there's people that are still fighting that. When you hear them talk, you can tell that they're going to have a long road. <laughs> yeah. A couple of years. It's a shame. I don't see it's that with you. No, not for sure. You, uh, you know, sometimes when, when I'm doing my podcast, no, I, I, I feel very sharp. When I do the podcast sometimes, I, I, I kind of listen and I think, fuck, am I slurring my words? So I don't feel like I, my, my thinking isn't slurred. My thinking, I, I think way too fast. I'm five steps ahead of my mouth's able to carry me. I talk too fast all the time. You're the guy that busted some yeah. hour away, an hour away. Yes. On the interview. How did you know he was concussed? I, did, I didn't know if he was concussed. We were doing an interview. We come up on the big screen. And he's on there and he's like, and he was like, and prior to like uh, the studio making our sound, you know, go through to him, I was whispering to Kenny, I said, oh, man, he doesn't look good. You know, Max is a great guy, I know Max. Max is a great guy. Oh, he's, he's the best, awesome guy. And uh, so we start and I'm like, and you know, we have cards in front of us of what questions we've got to say that we've arranged in the production meeting beforehand. But I'm like, I can't go off this shit. I've got to ask him. I said, yo, Max, you feeling good? I can't remember what I said. said you feeling good, buddy? You know, he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, because you look like you're off asleep and you're kind of slurring your words. You good? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, all right, all right. And then afterwards, I sent him a message because I felt bad because I was like, I had injuries, but you still want to fight. As a fighter, you don't give a fuck about your injuries. You still want to go. And that's, that's the fighter inside you. And I thought if somebody was highlighting one of my injuries, on TV, I'd be pissed at that guy. So afterwards, I felt bad. I was like, yo, Max, sorry, man, I wasn't trying to. And anyway, he messaged me back. By this point, the news had broken that he had a concussion and shit, and he wasn't able to fight. Just gonna pause for a little second. Shout out to Joey Diaz, shout out to Lee Syed, shout out to Michael Bisping and Louis Gomez. Um, huge fans of their podcasts. Um, Church of What's Happening Now and Believe You Me. I just wanted to throw something out there due to recent events relating to somebody very famous. You all know him as Kanye West. Um, Joe Rogan actually touched on this, I think, a week ago. He said part of the reason that um, Kanye West could be acting up may not be mental health. It could be TBE from his car accident. And this got me thinking, man. It got me thinking about not just MMA fighters, but people who go through brain trauma and survive it with a completely different personality as to who they were before. And the possibility that maybe there could be a whole bunch of people out there in life who've been misdiagnosed with mental health issues as opposed to TBI, a traumatic brain injury, right? And every time I see something about Kanye West, I can't help but think that. Because to me, it doesn't seem like he is somebody who is suffering through mental health. Then again, I've been exposed to very few people in my lifetime that have suffered through mental health. But Kanye, man, it's hard to take in any other explanation simply because of how he acts you know compare him before and after the accident and just analyze his behavior man could it be some form of tbi just like in the case of max holloway i still think that was like concussion issues i don't think that was some sort of misdiagnosis that doctors didn't know what was going on i think he had he was feeling the effect of a concussion Longer than what doctors expected him to feel that the, the effects of that concussion. But back to Bisping, Diaz, Syed, and of course Gomez. And, and I want to say thank you. So he, he took it so well. He's a, he, he's a great guy. When did he get concussed? That afternoon? He got no, I think it was. I think it was, I, I don't know this from the horse's mouth, but I think a few days prior, what I heard on the grapevine around the UFC. He got knocked out in training a few days before. But I could be wrong there. That's what someone told me. That's what, that's what I was hearing, yeah. You know, uh, I think it was not this card or the last one. I don't want to mention any names. I looked at the card and I saw a name on there that you could tell he's already gone. Yes, it's... And I was like, why are they letting this poor bastard fight? He lost again. 
and it's like there comes a point where you can tell you don't have to be a genius that something the screws on yeah no for sure and were you scared of it at that point no I um oh so this is a big deal for Asians around the world. Yeah, it's huge. It's right? awesome. This movie, Crazy Rich Asians, it's top of the box office right now. It was a book too, right, Jim? Yeah. Did you guys read, read book. the book? Nah. It's about time <laughs> Asians had a movie. This is the first time, right? There was a Rush yeah, Hour. Take book. it easy. Rush Hour 1, Rush Hour 2. <laughs> Big Trouble but Little Brandon, China. Brandon, that was Big Trouble Asian Little guy. China. Brandon, that was one Asian Rumble guy. in the Bronx. That was one, that was one Asian guy. Rumble in, Asian. in the Bronx. <laughs> listen, everyone listen. Rumble <laughs> in the Bronx. Brandon. Godzilla. Brandon. One, two. <laughs> Brandon. Yeah, yeah they, these are... The, I understand, but that was just some Asian actor. Enter the Dragon. Brandon. Okay, but that was a long time ago. That was all karate. This is about... The Last Samurai. There's no karate in this Tom movie. Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. There are no swords of karate. This is like human beings having like relationships. <laughs> Disney's Mulan. Brandon. Brandon. Emperor's New Mulan. Groove. It's not Asian. It was Polynesian. God.